It was only two years ago that American senior high school was making a name for itself. Racial disturbances and confrontations gave the newly opened tri-ethnic school a reputation it's since been trying to live down. Nancy Solomon has this report. American High has an image problem. Since its doors opened four years ago, it's had more publicity than any other Dade County senior high. American was supposed to be a showpiece, a melting pot of Anglo, Black, and Latin students. But that idea went up in smoke in 1977. Riots broke out, security guards swarmed the halls, a number of students were arrested. Then came a change in administration, causing more turbulence. The senior high billed as a living model of harmony turned into a living nightmare. The school's trouble-filled reputation hangs on like an unwanted parasite. But that could be changing. Some students and teachers at American High are fed up with their school's reputation. They say all the community knows about the school is that it was once the scene of racial disturbances. But now they say the times have changed and the tension is gone. And they're now embarking upon a project to change American High's image. All the students along with the parents are tired of American having a bad outlook. And when somebody asks you what school you go to and you say American, automatically they think bad about the school instead of thinking there are some good things going on. President of American's Future Business Leaders Club, Glenda Kemp. She and her peers are taking their Good Image campaign on the road, using the organization as the school's white and shining armor. The members' shields are metallic, and they've got plenty of them, walking away with over 50 trophies in district, state, and national meets for skills such as public speaking, typing, bookkeeping, and office procedures. They're anxious to prove American high school students are learning those crafts in business education classes, coming out on top in competitions, and most importantly, working together. Business education's department head, Ruby Jones, is one of several advisors to the club. Whether they are black, white, or Latin, or whatever, everybody's given an equal opportunity to get involved, and everybody do participate, and we do have a good representation as far as the three ethnic groups. Those that start trouble usually are those that are bored or don't really have much to do. And by really having a purpose or having something to do, it keeps a lot of people out of trouble. But this gives an opportunity for everybody involved in any business class, or even if you're not involved in a business class, to be involved in community projects, in school projects, and to have something to do. And it's whether or not projects will keep students out of trouble is debatable. Nevertheless, the future business leaders have lots of them. Raising money for business scholarships, holding career seminars, and helping instruct at neighborhood schools. This week, a handful of students equipped with play money and games took a short hike over to Lake Stevens Elementary to teach fourth graders how to make change. They are typical American senior high school students who are striving to, uh, you know, make a dent in the situation here. They are striving to improve themselves, and uh, this was an opportunity to uh, improve themselves as they were helping others. American High's principal of two years, Lonnie Coleman, says the future business leader's enthusiasm is part of a chain reaction that's gaining momentum. One of the problems uh, that I it was obvious to me when I first got here was that our kids just didn't feel good about themselves, and uh, uh, so that was our first task. They feel good about themselves now, and they're doing things uh, much better. When you get involved with something and you see good things happening, it gives you pride in your school and it makes you want to help make the school a better place instead of trying to tear the school down and make a bad name for it. I think it makes people want to be proud of their school and do things to make it have a better reputation. That reputation is what the club is after. Wenda Klusa is district president. Roy Lawson, future business leader, state president, and recently elected national treasurer. And Glenda Kemp took first place in business math at a district meet. American High's Future Business Leaders Club is one of the largest in the country with over 200 members. Together, they're asking for positive publicity about their school and their club. It's important for everyone to know, they say, that American Senior High is not synonymous with trouble. It just took us a while to get things ironed out, and as Wenda said, things were blown out of proportion so badly because the reporters were constantly here, and they were thriving on that news. And I don't think that we have to prove ourselves anymore. I think we've already done it.